Hello, my name is Neve. I am from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to this step-by-step -step instructional video on how to prove the following. Let ABC be a triangle. If a line XY is parallel to BC and cuts AB in the ratio of S to T, then it cuts AC in the same ratio. This proof is going to have a construction and it's going to have a proof. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to construct the diagram that you can see in front of you. Okay, so for this construction, we're going to draw a very simple triangle like I have in front of me. You could do a much funkier, much crazier looking triangle. I've chosen two quite simple one. And I've just literally just done this, guys, using my ruler, joining three lines together. Okay. What I've also done, if you look quite closely, you might notice that I've got little, little dots here. And that's just because using my ruler, I went along and I split this uh, side of the triangle into, I, I chose to do, I think it was six equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal parts. You can do eight, you could do 10, it doesn't matter. Now, if you were asked to split a line, if you were asked to do construction and split a line segment into three equal parts, for example, you have to do it very accurately using your compass. And I have another um, video explaining how to do that in this series. But for this kind of question, we're making more of a diagram, an accurate diagram, but still a diagram. So we don't worry about being so accurate. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw a line that's parallel to my base here uh, and I'm going to choose to do it through one of my markings. Again you don't have to but I've chosen to construct it this way and I think it makes things a bit easier later on. Okay so through one of my markings I'm going to draw a line parallel to my base. How do I draw a parallel line guys? Well I line up my set square exactly with the baseline and I put my ruler beside it. Okay then I slide my set square up to the point I want to draw the parallel line. I'm choosing to do it at the second uh, marking here. And I just draw a line across my set square. Lovely. And now we've got a line parallel to our base. And to mark that this is a parallel line, I'm going to do the familiar arrows, which tell you that these two lines are parallel to each other. Now I'm also going to mark a uh, label each side of the each corner of the triangle, sorry, each vertex as A, B, C. And I'm going to mark each point that this line crosses here of the triangle as X and Y. Now, the next thing is that we want to split X and B into equal parts, into T equal parts. T is what is some value that we can choose. We're going to split this distance x to b into t equal parts, t being some value we can choose. I'm also going to split a to x into s equal parts, s being some value we can choose. Now this is why I split my line up uh, before I start the question, to make this part a little bit easier. I've already split my line to six equal parts. So, and I've done my parallel line across one of them. So I already have here my marking to split this into two equal parts. And I already have here my markings to split this into five equal parts. Okay, just makes things a little bit easier for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is our construction part. You'll see in our proof when we do split it into our given to prove construction proof. This is our construction part. And we always do that as a dotted line. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a parallel line to the base through each of these splits next. So again, I'm going to take my set square, if I could pick it up. <laughs> I'm going to line it up to my base. Let's go like here. Okay. I'm going to do my ruler exactly side it and then I'm going to slide the set square along the ruler. This is to produce a parallel line guys is what we always do and because this is our construction what we're adding we're going to do this in a dotted line. Okay and moving up I'm going to do the exact same thing up with my next um, marking where I split this side of the triangle. I'm going to do another parallel line across. And again, guys, up the whole way up this triangle, okay? One more. <coughs> so for me, guys, you'll see that my S 
is one, two, three, four, five, and my T is two. Okay, yours can be different, it can be the same, whatever you like. Now what we straight away notice, guys, is that because I split this side into S equal parts and then T equal parts, I've also split this side into S equal parts and then T equal parts. And we use that fact in our proof, okay? And we can immediately just show that here. This is S equal parts, this is T equal parts. And that's our entire construction, okay? And we're ready to do our proof. Hey guys, let's set up our proof. So this proof is gonna have the structure of given, to prove construction proof, okay? This is kind of our usual structure of proofs. And if you're unclear about what any of that means or why we structure proofs in that way, check out this video because I go through in quite a lot of detail. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have is uh, given. What are we given before we even try to prove it? Well, we're given the following. We are given triangle a, B, C, so triangle A, B, C, with X, Y, the line X, Y, parallel to B, C, B, C. That's the first thing. Now, we want to prove that A, X, distance a to x over the distance x to b is equal to the distance a to y over the distance y to c. Okay? Now, let me just examine that just for a minute, okay? What we've been asked to do in this proof is we're trying to prove that if we've got some parallel line to the base of a triangle going across the triangle, that it's going to split each of the sides in the same ratio, okay? For example, right, let's say we had that um, this was the distance three and this was the distance one. Then it would be split in the ratio of three to one. And we're trying to prove that this is also split in that same ratio. Now, in this particular diagram, this seems really trivial. Like, it seems obvious and pointless that we're trying to prove it because, well, if it's a straight line across, you're just split in the same distance. And this is kind of true in this case because I've drawn an equilateral triangle. I've got a triangle that's the same sides are all the same length. But if this was a more regular looking triangle, like let me just draw a different kind of triangle for you here. What if we had something like, I don't know, like this? Oops. <laughs> what if we had something a bit more like that? Then we wouldn't have the same case, right? Let's say we do another parallel line across, something like this. Excuse how rough this is, just for an example. Then this, say this is about 3, 1. Then this is definitely not 3, 1. This looks more like, you know, 6 and a 2, for example. This is from here to here is 6, here to here is 2. But it's still split in the same ratio, okay? If this is the ratio 3 to 1, then the ratio 6 to 2, when we simplify that and divide both sides by 2, it's still three to one, guys, okay? Now, another way that we can express ratios is in this way here as fractions. That's a perfectly, perfectly valid way to express a ratio, okay? Let me show you what I mean. So say if we had, again, three to one, and we said it was three over one this time, and then we've got this ratio here of six to two, we do six over two, three over one is three, six over two, divide two into six, it's also Three. So this is also a very valid way to show that the ratio it's split into is the same. If, if when you put one over the other and you simplify it down and see what's divided into, if they equal each other, the ratio is the same and that's the reason why. So this is what we're trying to prove. This is what we're going for, okay? Okay, next thing we need to do our construction. Our construction. And I'll get rid of all the things that you're not going to write down in your actual proof, okay? So the construction here is that we divide AX into S equal parts. S can be anything, okay? Any number. S equal parts. This is A, X, S equal parts. Well, how many parts have we divided into? We've divided, divided into one, two, three, four equal parts. So for us, S is four. 
So we divide it into s equal parts and divide xb xb into t equal parts. Okay, t for us, 2. Now draw a line parallel to BC through, again, terrible writing of the word through, <laughs> through each point of division. of the division. Okay, so essentially what our construction is, right, is that we've taken this side a to x and I've split it into four equal parts like so. I've done the same thing from x to b, I've split it into two equal parts and then I've drawn a line parallel to bc from here like so. Okay, which we already went through in our construction but just as a reminder. Perfect, okay, now that we have our given, our to prove, and our construction, we're ready to do the proof. Okay, so the parallel lines, the parallel lines make intercepts, crosses, okay, intercepts of equal length equal length along the line A. See, each of these parallel lines, okay, crosses the line AC at equal intercepts, okay? Because we marked it as equal intercepts on this side, so when we draw a parallel line, they must mark equal intercepts on the other side, right? Okay. Therefore, this little sign means therefore, therefore, the line AY is divided is divided into S equal or in our case four, whatever, into S equal intercepts. And the line Y C Y C is divided into t equal intercepts. Therefore, ax over xb, excuse me, therefore, ay over yc is equal to s over t. Okay, therefore ay over yc is equal to s over t. But we already know that ax over xb is equal to s over t. So finally, therefore, AX over XB is equal to AY over YC, which is exactly what we're trying to prove. That little box means proved. Okay, let me go back over why this is the case. Now, we divided this side of the triangle into S equal parts into T equal parts. And then we then drew parallel lines from that side of the triangle to the other side of the triangle. So that means the other side of the triangle was also split into the same number of parts, right? Equally. So it doesn't actually matter that, you know, maybe maybe the it was split into different parts, but maybe each of these distances is, is a little bit different to these distances. But in terms of the ratio, there's still S of them over T of them. So it doesn't actually matter, you know, the, the how, how, mu how much uh, distance is between the lines. All that matters is how many lines was in each, because we're looking at a ratio, we're looking at a fraction. So because this is split into S and T, and this is also split into S and T, 
you can then deduce that the ratio of AX to XB is the same as the ratio of AY to YC, and you are done.